here is Trump uh, basically, and we should say that Trump's call to have uh, to get back to work came amid public health experts saying, uh, w- you can't do this. It won't work. Well, you know, Trump is a pretty smart guy. He has some different ideas. This is clip number three. Be very, very bad. Uh, and two, that you want to get the country open back yeah. up as quickly as possible. So I guess my question is, if in a week uh, Dr. Burks or Dr. Fauci are telling you we need to continue these measures uh, for the health of the vulnerable populations of the country, are you going to say, I'm sorry, the, the economy is too important? Um, well, you'll you- see what happens. Uh, I, I understand the question very well. It's a, it's a great question, but... Uh, we can do two things at one time. I will say this. Our country's learned a lot. We've learned about social distancing. We've learned about the hands. We've learned about uh, uh, staying away, at least during the time that this is even uh, a little bit around uh, this disease or or whatever you want to call it. Many different names. You can go up many different names but the virus while it's around. And uh, we can start thinking about, as an example, uh, there you go. You won't commit to uh, what the uh, doctors say. And you also, you can call it a bunch of different things. Did you know that? Did you know you could call it a bunch of different things? That's what he says when he doesn't know what to call it. He doesn't know what it is. It's not like he's been getting briefs on this, apparently. Apparently, he doesn't have access to literally the top epidemiologists in the world who could explain to him what it is. He still, it still hasn't come through his head. This whole thing that he's worried about, the only thing he can, he can think about is his hotels that are not making money right now. And Sam, so he, I think you are discounting the fact that he we did learn to think about the hands, though. We did learn, you know, hands. He remembered that. He didn't say, you know, hands or feet, whichever. It's both. It could be both. It could be both that are problematic, hands and feet. I didn't. I wasn't paying too much attention. But you know, you could call it a disease. You could call it. You could call it a bunch of different things because I don't know exactly what it is because I haven't been listening for the past month. When I've been having daily briefings with epidemiologists who could tell me what it is, what like he doesn't even know what it is. This is just it's insane. It's insanity. This is insanity. We have a little bit more of this, too, if we want. Um, is this what? Which one is this? Is It's this, the uh, same clip. We just have a little bit more. It OK, short. keep playing. Keep playing. As an example, uh, parts of our country are very lightly affected, uh, very small numbers. And, you know, you look at a state great governor, Pete Ricketts uh, in Nebraska. Uh, You look at uh, the kind of numbers they have out there. They have one of the great one of the great hospitals there, too, relative to what we're talking about. But uh, you look at Nebraska, you look at Idaho, you look at Iowa, you look at uh, many. I could name many countries that are handling it very, very well and that are not affected to the same extent. Yeah. Yeah. Incidentally, those are states. They're not countries. But aside from that, obviously, you misspoke. Um, But what's the pattern? Did anybody pick up on a pattern like this? Like Iowa, Nebraska. What else did he say? Wyoming? Idaho. Idaho. Uh, Those are all, uh, I think, Native American words. They're they're, they're all... (laughs) they, They... they're just not densely populated. It's fine there. All right. Well, let's let full on economic activity there. What are we going to do? We're going to move all our, our our economic activity there. I mean, this is just absurd. This is a lun- this is lunacy. This is total lunacy. It's unbelievable. <laughs> 